Um, anyway, I couldn't say that I am any of these things because I even couldn't say uh, the, the banana that I, that I am an artist. I couldn't, I suck some pretentious to me to say that. I'm not the right person to say. I don't believe that I can say that in my lifetime. Maybe, maybe history says so. I, but I don't pretend that the history says so either. Uh, I'm a handcraft maker. I, I don't pretend to make statements on my work. I pretend to make objects, beautifully made objects. And, uh, I, uh, this is hard for me. I'm shy, and this is very hard for me. <laughs> I have to say. Let's. Try, I try to I try to tell the story. Maybe I warm up to this. <laughs> uh, I grew up in a very dysfunctional family. Uh, my mother was insane. <laughs> my mother was insane for real. Not funny. She was violent and she was insane and she treated me like her pet. And that was not funny. And so she took me everywhere with her and I was obedient like a trained dog. And she took me to places everywhere she went, and she told me to see. And I obeyed, and I said, not moving. Like, not moving like a monk meditating for hours. And she forgot me on places. Everywhere she went, she forgot me, and she came back eight hours, seven hours, six hours. And then she hit me because I complained, because I didn't complain because I need to ask for help. Things like that. Anyway, I sat in these places <coughs> looking and thinking. Yes, I, was, I was thinking, I was looking at where, where you are now, at this row of chairs, thinking, these row of chairs look like cheese. Look like red chips. How would it look like if they move? How would it look like if they were green? How would it would look like if they were tall? So whatever I was looking, I was changing what I was looking because I had no other option but changing the reality that I was seeing all the time. I was I was sitting on whatever place she left me. Uh, on a house. They said she left me in a house at her friend's house looking at a painting and I extended the painting. It's the painting of the sky. Then the sky extended and I looked at the painting and there were planes and the planes and then it rained and then uh, uh, whatever and then, <laughs> and then there were more houses and there were this and what happened with this chair had, was green, what happened if he had legs, what happened if he put it upside down, what happened if he had a head, uh, or this is staying on the floor, look like a horse, this is staying up. So I was on my head, made like a monk, thinking of how, how could this be, how could this be, what, how did this. So I assume that what I do today had to do with this, because this is what I do all day. This is where my work comes from. I'm not, uh, people, uh, people always assume that I am making statements on recycling <laughs> and the end of the world of garbage and all that. I'm not making any statements on recycling. Uh, uh, I don't. I know there's a lot of objects out there. I know we produce a lot of objects. 
I know there's a lot of garbage out there. I know there's more garbage every day. It's obvious to me. It's obvious to everybody. <coughs> but that's not the way I see it. That's not what worries me. That's not what I believe. That's, that's not what I think. What I think is, I go to the hardware store and I say, oh, this looks like a dog. This looks like a dog. This looks like a hawk. This looks like an animal. This looks like, this looks like whatever it looks like. <laughs> this looks like a bird. This looks like, that's what it means to me. If it means something else to other people, nice. <laughs> If it, if it makes philosophical statements at the end of the world, uh, <coughs> nice. <laughs> if our critics believe that, uh, that this, is, this is a political statement and somebody's going to replicate it uh, and it's going to change the way the world, the people see garbage and maybe they're going to recycle more because they see me, good. <laughs> But this is not what I do. Um, I'm trying to create beauty. I'm trying to make Caesars look beautiful. This is my only intention. This is my only purpose on life. I'm just trying to make people smile when they see my things. Now I go, I go to, I go to, <coughs> I go to art museums and art galleries and most of the time I don't really understand anything. I don't, I don't want people to have to understand anything. I think that they are limited they're, they're in, in general, 
There are very few things to say. I think the oddest belief when you get up to see him or fairies, I think there are a lot of things to say. And there are no much to say. There are very few things to say. The only the only thing the only aspiration that you can have is that you say things with your own voice. And the only possibility of finding your own voice is listen to your own body. And listen to your own body is, is a it's a humbling process. It's, if I like pink, it doesn't mean I'm gay unless I like pink. <laughs> I'm attracted to pink. No? So if, I, if I'm in the store and I like pink shirts, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gay, I'm gay. It means I like pink shirts. If I link pink shirts and I'm gay, that's something else. It just feel accepting what you are attracted to, honestly. Not thinking that somebody else may think something, then you're not being honest. But if you listen to your own voice, to your own body, about everything, then you make statements, then whatever you say, sounds to your own voice. Then whatever you say, you build colors with your, you build paints with your own light. You don't build paints. <coughs> These are books. These are all books. Let out this one. I like green paint. I don't see These are, these are big sculptures on jet skis. <coughs> these are, this is a <coughs> These are bullets. Uh, I don't want to be looking at this because I don't want to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> people will kill, you know, people kill items with bullets. I made this thing, I made this, this thing, and I was thinking that people kill animals with bullets, so I make animals out of bullets, simple. And people that bought it, that I, I thought I was making, and I was saying, don't, don't kill the animals, the innocent, and you just kill them because you want to see their fall. And people that bought the sculptures, mostly hunters. <laughs> <laughs> that was really amazing to me. I couldn't, I couldn't understand it. And people that bought it, oh, I, I, I bought it for my father because he's a hunter and he loved it. He went. <laughs> but people that buy art is just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's a hell of a second world war. That's a jet that she made. There's a painting on pencils called a date. I always wanted to be a painter. You know, I trained as a painter. I, I, I like painting. I just wasn't the painter I wanted to be. Now, painting, painting is something that playing the piano. There are some people that won't play the piano, and there are like five, like Mozart, they just play and come, it comes easy to them, with blows coming. Painting is like that. Some people paint. And some other people, no matter how much they train, no matter how much they try, you can. You can hire, you can hire a piano teacher and play and play and play 10 hours a day and then you learn to play the piano. But you never learn 
you never play the piano the same way that the people that is virtuoso that they just came out to never. So I was the one that played the piano for ten hours and never played the piano the way they played the piano <laughs> like most. But I tried, like obsessively. So I wasn't the painter I wanted to be. So now I made my own weird paintings on pencils, or paintings on wire, or paintings on shoelaces. <coughs> my own. The main oh, zebra and ostrich. My paintings are very. Uh, personal, psychological, small confessions of my own sick psychology. <laughs> <laughs> The process of, of seeing objects and uh, finding what is in the object, this, this process of finding other objects on objects is uh, If I place it well. 
I can use this word that means uh, <coughs> affection to be trapped if it is well. Same thing with objects. I can make these scissors, <coughs> these scissors, go to be a bird. If I place the word, if I make it open enough, or close enough, or blue enough, or something enough to make you see it as a bird. If I twist it enough, I can make you see it. It's a
So I made a garden out of gardening tools because all these tools that, <laughs> that they make gardens with. And it's amazing to me. So I made a garden out of gardening tools, planting a plant. Oh. I really like this. It's called We Don't Need Water. Or all with our garden faucets and hoses and wall wires and uh, shovels and, and things. It's a uh, Uh, I make up some objects too. I, this is a different part of my head. <laughs> I, I want to respect every part of my head. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very dyslexic. People would have been my image have to love me because they are unreal. I, I don't, I don't, I can't read in this, and I can write, I cannot write in any language. I, I cannot write in any language. I wrote this to be able to have some statements to, to directly write, and I can't read it. <laughs> I can't, I don't, I don't know what I wrote. I can't, at least, I'm sorry to say, but I can't. But, there is a, my father was an engineer, and there is a geometric part of my head that I, there is some wisdom on it that I don't, I don't know exactly how it works, and I don't know exactly what's in there. I don't know exactly what it says, and I don't know exactly why is it there? Why is it trying to say to me? And how? Why? Why? What is that? It's. But I can see it very clearly. I see this very sophisticated, intricate, especially this, especially these kind of things. I see these very intricate architectural structures on my head. And I just really feel pushed to do them, to see them. And I see them, and it made me very happy to see that I can create in my head this abstract, abstract things that I don't understand, and I don't know what it is. And I have, a, I have a, an assistant that believes in uh, extraterrestrial <laughs> people, or whatever, beings, and he says they're talking to me. <laughs> uh, uh, and I agree. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I agree. I really like this one. These are hangers, wood hangers. And, and I just don't have enough hands to do all these things to come on my head. Because these, these, very, these very intricate objects, they're, I can't draw them. I just see them, but I can't draw them. I just see them and I say, we have to do this. And that's at least this, my, my assistant, the police that believe on the structure is sort of things. He is very mathematical. So I, I, I okay, then I see this. I see this and, I see, and he understands that no, this is not where it is. And we build this. Every once in a while I stop whatever I'm doing and I see this. He believe this, they are talking to me. <laughs> they believe, believe that they are, we are getting messages. <laughs> <laughs> this is my key legs, he dances. This, they, they was uh, hanging on the ceiling. I made this lock up. I still have it. I've never had, had the opportunity to show it. But the ones are hanging on the ceiling, they have the dance that this one, this have different weights on different on their legs. So you push it, stay one hour and a half spinning. Wow. Uh, this has, this has uh, hinges. I really like it. I never saw it. 